I know it's so hard online as well because um, you want to share art, you want to share things that you've honed and created and edited and polished, but um, there's also you know the grunt work behind it, and you know the reality of real living is not all you know simplicity. You know, there's really frustrating moments where I need to dig out my driveway every other day during the winter, you know, just to get out, and the snow plow might not come for five days. So you know, um, definitely in my other cottage, I mentioned several times that I didn't have like a uh, running water in in one of the rooms, and um, there were power outages and things like that. And um, and yet, I think for me, in terms of my own kind of mental health journey, um, no matter where I was in life, I really wanted to uh, focus on what would help me through challenges, no matter what, and what was uh, the beauty or what I could find to be grateful for in every moment, no matter what challenges my my own tendency towards anxiety or any other thing I was going through internally or externally. And um, and I think that's where a lot of the artistic videos came from. But I think at least when I uh, try to speak to whoever is watching them, um, I try to always share that you know it's it's about finding beauty. It doesn't mean that um, yeah, life is all easy and simple, right. and you know we can't escape those challenges. And mm -hmm. even out here, it's it's always so easy to romanticize a life that we do not have. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, I romanticize being in a city sometimes where I could go and get sushi. Right. That would be amazing. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's always fresh the, fish would be so that, great. Because <laughs> real life so. has its challenges, right? But so people say think the grass is greener, but there's there's mm -hmm. both good and bad pros and cons yes. in every situation. No matter where we're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh, over here there's so many families that move over here and are just so excited and they go a few winters where it's <laughs> negative 40 one day oh and gosh. they just realize with, you know, absolutely, you know, I completely understand that it just isn't meant for them. It's not, it's not where their life can thrive at this point or where they're at or their personality might not mesh well with a more rural area where, um, you know, there's not as many people and there's, you know, less people to, uh, uh, it's harder maybe to find your group of people that understand you and all that. And so there's definitely these challenges that I think people uh, realize once they live over here, as well as I'm sure if, you know, you live in a city or in a suburban area, there's challenges everywhere. But, um, but yeah, I always try to keep that in mind and share that in videos sometimes that, um, yeah, it's so much easier to project what we you know, all these positive feelings on something that we're, we don't have at one moment. Um, and uh, I think it, it gives us hopefully a lot of room for self-reflection and to see there's probably so much incredible things going on where we're at right now. And if not, you know, seeing, understanding that life isn't perfect, no matter where you are, you are and your challenges follow you all over the place. And out here, I've still had to even more so come to terms with anxiety management and, and uh, being comfortable with myself and being alone. You experience that a lot out in a rural area yeah. and so um yeah I always try to bring that back in my videos you know this is art and there's a lot more to it and 